team will have a piece of paper. Don't need a whole lot. All right, when you get your, uh, your strip loin, you need to identify which end is the rib end, which end is the sirloin end. This is the sirloin end. It's much rougher looking. It's got a vein that runs through it. Vein end, sirloin end. It means the same thing. Okay? This side over here is your rib end. Nice and clean, solid muscle, much more desirable. Correct? Yes, sir. All right, that's where you're going to start. We're going to take our slices off of our rib end. Each one of you is going to cut four slices. Four. Three-quarter inch steaks. Four. Now you're going to need to get the strings out of your way, but don't go too deep. Don't go too far because eight slices is only going to be down to here. You need the rest of it to be tied. So if you want to wait till you get to that point to take the strings off, that's okay too. You know you're going to take at least one or two off. Your thickness is three-quarters of an inch. That's your thickness, three-quarters of an inch. Now, chances are your rib end is not going to be nice and straight. So you have to very conservatively straighten that side off. All I've done was I've taken off enough to give me a nice clean edge without being too wasteful. Then you go take an inch slice off just to get it even. Took off all I needed just to, get, just to make it even, that's all. Alright, so you're going to measure three quarters of an inch. Your knife down, you maybe you need to make a little track for yourself to follow. Okay, don't cut, don't follow the lines and strings, obviously. Start your cut on the downward stroke. Put your finger over the cut so you can hold it steady. Pull through. Stay nice and even. Okay? One. Go. Oh. 